Hey, what's up guys? JD Venom here, back with you here on the channel today to talk about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Gonna be talking about 10 things I think that this game needs in order for it to survive. Now, me, I'm a hardcore Tony Hawk gamer. I've been playing ever since the very first game in 1999 on those PlayStation demos back in the day, if you guys are old enough to remember that. But I'm going to be talking about from a casual perspective here, okay? I'm going to be talking about 10 things here, as I mentioned. It's going to be going more into 10 things of what I think this game needs in order for the casual player to come back and play this game every single day. Not even every single day, but a couple times a week. Um, let's go over the first one here. First and foremost, and this is the most obvious one here but a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 DLC. Um, we have one, we have two, we have all of the maps and everything, and the soundtrack, all that stuff. We need Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Um, I, me in particular, I beat this game in two hours because I am a you know pro at this game pretty much. I'm not literally a pro player, but I'm pretty damn good at this game. Um, we need Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 DLC, so that includes anything from the game itself, the soundtrack, of course, the maps, challenges, maybe throw a secret character or two from that game in here. I know we probably can't get Wolverine, but, you know, perhaps maybe we can try to get a secret player from, uh, Tony Hawk 3 to come in. Um, the second thing, and, uh, this is something that definitely needs to be done, for sure, create a trick. A more creative more creative features like create a trick create a deck create a grip tape create a logo I think those things there will really help out the longevity of this game because if you can create any trick you want and by all means you know I'll be talking about online in a second but maybe create a trick can only be used in single player on you know, in the single player campaign versus online because you know we create a trick you can make something I'm pretty sure anybody can make something that's very really spammable and uh, cheat the system but create a deck wow that'll be great right we've seen that and i believe tony hawks uh underground right the first thug right um also as well create a grip tape that'll be great you got all these great grip tape designs it'll be great to have that and also create a logo as well create a logo you know and, and make your own sponsorship that'll be pretty cool right third thing here i think will help this game in the long run is having seasons Kind of like Fortnite, kind of like Call of Duty, Apex Legends, whatever, you know, is out there, the shooters, right? I think Tony Hawk could go on that concept, have a season where you go up to, you know, a hundred level score or a hundred level, whatever, and each particular level you go up, you get something, right? Maybe it's extra cash, maybe it's a new grip tape, maybe it's a new deck, maybe it's, uh, you know, a new hat, um, all of that. I think that would be awesome. You know, uh, maybe it's new set pieces for your, you know, for your creator park. And we'll be talking about more about creator park in a second as well. And some things I think that will, um, that'll be very helpful. Um, that will come in, you know, I think that will help the game out. You know, if, if this video ever gets picked up by anybody, please, um, you know, share this and tweet this and all this stuff. Um, you know, because I want to see if uh, Vicarious, uh, uh, Visions uh, the developer of this game would, you know, take a listen to some of these ideas. And uh, maybe maybe they have these ideas on the table already. Who knows, right? Um, so, yeah, that's the third thing. The battle pass type system progression with seasons, I think that will be great. The fourth thing here is more multiplayer types. King of the Hill, we don't see that anywhere. Horse, we don't see that anywhere. Something else that is innovative, right? So you don't have to necessarily include Horse or King of the Hill. Make up something else that's innovative. I'm not a game designer. Um, I can think of game modes, but I don't know if they will work or not, right? Um, I can tell you that I can only do Trick or Chack and uh, Combo Mambo and Graffiti and, you know, uh, score challenges for so, so long. And uh, speaking of that, um, you know, I'm going to go into this a little bit right now, but uh, in multiplayer, when you're playing people online, you they should have, and hear me out on this, they should have some type of skill-based matchmaking. I think skill-based matchmaking would be great. You know, I mean, um, I am a, I will say, a way above average 
to gr I'm, pr I'm pretty good at Tony Hawk. I'm pretty great at the, at the game, I think. Um, but nevertheless, though, you know, I, I think that I'm not, like, a top-tier player either. You know what I mean? I, I will compare myself to, like, a, um, you know, like a Noah J456. You know, if you guys watch Call of Duty, right? Noah J, he's very, very good at Call of Duty. He's, he's awesome. He's not a pro player, though, right? He's, a, you know, he, he can slap people online, right? Uh, you know, play multiplayer or, you know, or playing a Warzone or whatnot. But he's not a pro player. Maybe maybe because he just doesn't want to be. I don't know. But nevertheless, he's not considered a pro player. He's not a scump. You know, I mean, he's not a uh, a crim Crimsix, uh, whatever his name is. Um, the redhead guy. You guys know who I'm talking about if you watch Call of Duty. But regardless, though, I think skill-based matchmaking would be cool, would be different. Um, if you have enough people playing the game, that is. If you don't have enough people playing, then don't include skill-based matchmaking. The fifth one here on the list um, I want to talk about is something minor, but I think that it will help overall for the speedrunners out there. Hit box fix. We need to fix the hitboxes when going through the goals because I can't tell you the countless times that whenever I'm trying to get a letter in skate or when I'm trying to hit the barrels and a hanger or if I'm trying to hit the, the signs in a downtown Minneapolis that I miss them. And it seems like I'm right on top of them, but I never ever get, uh, you know, you know, ever get credit for it because of the hitboxes. The hitboxes in this game are very, very, very thin. They need to, they need to buff that. They need to fix that. Oh, just a little bit, not, not too much. You want to make it easy, right? You don't want to make it seem. You don't have. You don't want to be like seven feet away, and you know, as an example, and uh, still get that particular uh, objective, but. They need to fix the hitboxes for sure, and even with some like with like with like with like the lamp posts. Um, I had this issue with some of the lamp posts in downtown and in the streets of San Francisco. I think the the lamp posts are, are too big of a hitbox. So if they have the ability to do that, I don't know if it's in the game's engine array and we're just stuck with it. But they have the chance to fix the hitboxes. Please, 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 please. Let's see if we try to get that fixed uh, by Carrier's Visions. That'll be great. Oh, on to that, and I think this is not part of the engine. This is something that they could definitely fix for sure if they add this option in the game. And I think some players will love to have this. Uh, the sixth one is change sensitivity options while you're riding around your skateboard. To me, personally, I think it is too sensitive, especially when you have a fully decked out skater. We have a creative skater, and when they're fully decked out, at times, it is hard to be precise on where you want to go with your player. I personally want to lower down my sensitivity. This is just for when you're riding on your board, not when you're in the air. If you're in the air and you have a high sensitivity, of course that'll be broken. I'm just talking about when you're riding on the board on the ground. Have that option available. Sensitivity, I think that will help out a little bit there, personally. Um, that is number six. Number seven. You guys will love this option here. Two or three maps to free world skate in online on multiplayer, right? Uh, now, I'm not referring to some of the regular maps, right? I'm not referring to warehouse, you know, a free skate online or school one or two or, or you know, something like that. I'm referring to bigger maps that came in the franchise. Something like Alcatraz, something like the zoo, something like New Jersey from um, Thug One, right? Um, just for free skate only. I get you can't do goals or nothing like that. Just free skating only, okay? And and on top of that as well, this will go into number eight. Private servers, private servers in general, right? Um, so if you can get those two or three maps to free, you know, to free skate in, right? I think that this game overall will have a boost in a uh, playership. I don't know what the playership is right now. I know that this was the number one game or the number two game um, in the first week that it came out. Uh, we're almost two weeks into the game. Uh, you guys are going to be seeing this here on Monday. I'm actually recording this here on uh, on Saturday here. But uh, there are people playing this game here. I want people to play this game. I'm going to be playing this game regardless. And, and I'm going to be streaming this game regardless. Whether if, you know, where people will like that or not. I love this game. I love the Tony Hawk series. But just something like that will help. 
um going into number eight as i mentioned the private servers not only for those for any map for those two or three big maps uh that i was referring to like alcatraz or um you know or new jersey from uh thug one but also custom parks i'm i'm playing a lot of custom parks right now but it's a shame i can't play with my friends in these custom parks either private servers or even in a public session where you can have those custom parks in rotation have those custom parks in rotation as you're playing people online i'm pretty sure uh, vicarious visions they can look and see see which custom parks are being played the most and which ones are being liked the most and the ones that are being talked about online add three or four of those into rotation whenever you are playing online and also as well it gets kind of uh, mundane a little bit when you're playing online and uh, you're at school too against you know against you know pretty credible competition and you play two or three matches four or five matches there before going to the next map how about put it at a two uh you know a, a, a two match tops one one game of trick attack one game of graffiti okay move on to the mall or whatever right and from there you can do a combo mambo and then a score challenge then move on to a custom map and just keep you know rinsing and repeating i think that would um you know put more energy into this game for sure also before we head to number nine for the uh custom parks also we need to have access to more backgrounds right to more backdrops so we have right now heaven uh venice beach and I guess like the the shore or whatever we have that between like day and night or you know dusk or dawn or whatever you want to call it um, We need to have more options actually give us the actual time of day We can actually pick the time right and we want to like, you know 1 p.m. Or 6 p.m. Or you know 9 a.m. Something like that um, More backdrops and you know as far as because I remember in Tony Hawk 2 you were I think the option was you could be able to like pick like some indoor, you know, building and skate park, some um, factory looking setting. Um, that would definitely be cool. Uh, you know, so that a little bit more customization there for the custom parks. Also as well, great custom parks, but they are there are no goal. I mean, no goals per se that you can make in your custom park. So like create a goal, create a gap. Oh my goodness, create a gap. That's something so simple that we should be able to have, to, you know, to have. Create a gap will be fantastic to have. Um, so they really need to have that. Also as well, kind of like going back into the battle, cra the battle pass progression system. One more thing, like more props. So if we have the battle pass system, you can be able to get customized or some uh, exclusive props to use in your park. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely, uh, in my opinion, needed as well. Going on to number nine here, and uh, this was a great option. Um, I, I can tell that uh, this was inspired by some first-person shooters, <laughs> uh, for sure. Uh, some first-person uh, gamers uh, that have happen to work for Vicarious Visions. But we need more animated board decks. It reminds me so much of... You know what you see in Call of Duty and Apex Legends, and you know uh, games like that, where are where you're seeing uh, the dark matter uh, animation, you know, boards per se. I like that. I like that a lot. That's something that um, you know. That's something that they need to to keep bringing on. And also on top of that as well, not not only like animation board decks, but also like include more like silly stuff right Tony Hawk is a arcade skateboarding game right and you had like the silly stuff and um you know especially Thug 2 Jesus Thug 2 was a very silly game but I'm not saying going that silly but make it to where that you can add on like crazy hats crazy clothes um and that's something you can add on to the season pass as well add emotes that's one thing I forgot to mention as earlier add emotes we used to have emotes in the Tony Hawk games. I believe like in Tony Hawk 3, I, I, I believe that's where it first came in. Add emotes, add trash talking, um, you know, um, add, um, you know, add uh, spray paint cans, where you just spray paint, you know what I mean? Kind of like how you were doing in, uh, I think, Thug 1 and 2, I think that's where it came in. But regardless though, that will be something that will come in, and I think that would, you know, give more life to this game here. 
And number 10, last but not least, guys, and, you know, this is something that I really want. We, you know, like I said, I beat this game in two hours, right? Because I, I've been playing this game for, you know, 21 years now, right? <laughs> it's the same game regardless, right? Same buttons, right? You know what I mean? The, um, the, the mechanics are a little bit different as far as the engine, but regardless, it's the same game, right? I'm going to beat this game quickly. For people like me, and for the pro players out there, we need to have alternate uh, goals on classic maps. Harder goals on classic maps, all right? Uh, you could call them legendary goals. I don't care, right? So, for example, the warehouse, right? I, you know, the the six store, the six scores like you know, seventy five thousand, hundred thousand, wherever the wherever the six score is. How about after you beat that, and after you beat the game, how about you get alternative goals, right? So instead of the pro score could be a hundred thousand, um, you know, or the high score could be a hundred thousand, the pro score could be five hundred thousand, and it could be one million, right? For the alleged, you know, sit goal, right? The the six score goal, you know, have different, uh, you know, uh, things to pick up, right? Uh, you know, in these maps instead of uh, keys at the school, how about we're picking up, I don't know, pick up something else, right? Textbooks, and they're in different places, right? In harder to reach places, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Keep the maps the same, plenty million the same, but have different goals in different areas and make them harder to get right make the uh secret tapes to get is harder you know for all means the hanger that's the easiest uh you know secret tape in the history of tony hawk right make it somewhere to where it is harder to get right i mean the hanger is a bad example because that's the easy map regardless but you guys get what i'm saying you know have these legendary goals have these um you know these harder go and, and, and we'll just go back to the speedrunning community, right? Because there, the speedrun community is going to be huge into this game no matter what. This game will have a speedrunning community, and it already does have one already, right? We just need to have something else to whet our appetites with this game. Because if you're not going to give us more maps outside of THPS3, at least give us alternative goals, legendary goals um, with that. And I think that this would actually... You know have more players around and you know to me in particular that's something that definitely needs to be done and that's something that definitely needs to be considered if that has not been already all right guys i am gonna go and get out of here if you did like this here be sure to leave a thumbs up on the way out if i forgot about anything please leave a comment down below on your thoughts and what are some you know what are some other things like i said that i miss that you guys want to see in this game here um, I think I cover all the basics here, but I'm pretty sure I missed some other stuff. But guys, I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace out.